Yeah. Now the other definition is uh, the other rotation is the geometric index. If we have a two uh, solid towers n prime and n, n prime is the subset of the interior n. The geometric index n prime in n is the minimum member of the points in the intersection of the core of n prime with the meridian disk of n. Okay. So maybe, yeah, I can explain. Okay. Here, this, uh, okay. 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 No, no, no. Yeah. Here, maybe we can say the we can find a uh, 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 disk bound the blue curve. We the the disk will intersect uh, the red curve at the two points. So from this picture, we know in this picture the geometric index is equal to two. Okay. And. Yeah, so we know in, for example, in the one-hand manifold, the geometric index uh, nk in nk plus one is equal to two for each k. This is important for over, uh, for, the, for the proof, yeah. Okay, uh, I can make some remark. Uh, in the definition, we just can, uh, just can see, uh, just count the points in the intersection. We don't care about the orientation. If we consider orientation, we will get the definition will become the intersection member. Okay, maybe next. Yeah, uh, no, yeah I, I would like to introduce a class of uh, three manifolds, the genus one, three manifolds. A genus one, three manifolds is a increasing union of solid toral uh, NK, such that uh, the, for each K, NK is a subset of the interior of, of NK plus one. And the, the geometric index of NK in NK plus one is not equal to zero. From above the statement, we know the geometric index uh, NK in NK plus one is equal to two in the white high manifold. So we know white high manifold is genus one, three manifolds. Okay. Uh, Actually, uh, oh yeah, uh, the Macmillan showed that uh, a contractible genus one three manifolds is uh, not homeomorphic to. Homeomorph to R three. The proof is easy, and you the geometric index in particular. Uh, the R three is uh, not genus one, uh, genus two. Okay, uh, because. The because R three is increasing union of three balls. Three ball is a uh, genus zero kind of body. Okay. Yeah, we use the minimal surface to show that uh, uh, no contractible genus one three manifolds has a, a complete metric with the non-negative scalar curve. Yeah, in particular. The white high manifold does not have a complete metric with the long negative scalar curvature. Okay, uh, in the following, we were just talking about the proof for the white high manifold and for the positive scalar curvature metric. Uh, because uh, the proof for genus one case is same as the proof for white high manifold. Yeah, actually, we can use a uh, cast dance. Uh, Result generalize the result for the positive scalar curvature to the uh, non negative scalar curvature case. Okay, now uh, we're talking about how to prove uh, this result, prove uh, uh, this result for one hand manifolds. We argued by contradiction. So we suppose one hand manifolds has a complete metric with the positive scalar curvature. So we know. White high manifold is increasing union of solid toro. And the and the nk nk minus one is embedded in nk in the same way as the t1 located in t. Let's go back to the white high. 
Uh, here the story tower. Okay, the story tower is the uh, NK, and the red curve is the uh, uh, NK minus one, and the the blue curve is gamma K. Gamma K is a uh, Morian curve of NK. Okay, so uh, we choose the Morian curve of gamma K of uh, uh, NK for each K, roughly speaking, uh, each gamma K bounds or uh, embedded stable minimal disk uh, in NK. Okay, now uh, we consider the simple case when D, uh, DK converts to a complete connected stable minimal surface in white manifolds with the finite multiplicity. Because the scalar curvature is positive, a uh, Shunyao result tell us L is uh, homeomorphic to R2. Okay. Uh, furthermore, uh, we show that uh, the integral of the scalar curvature of the white high manifolds along L is unbounded by two pi. This equality is so called extrinsic convention equality. This uh, the proof of, of for this equality. We need the positive uh, positive scalar curvature condition. Okay, uh, general, uh, in general, the DK subconvents to a lamination uh, in C, uh, C0 alpha topology. Uh, the lamination is a closed set in the white high manifolds. Uh, it's disjoint union of some embedded surface. The, yeah, uh, it may have infinity infin 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 many components. The each component is an uh, embedded stable minimal surface. Okay. Uh, because the scalar curvature is positive, we know the each uh, stable minimal surface is a plane. Uh, that means uh, the each stable minimal surface is a diffeomorphic to R2. Okay. Now, uh, we allow, we, uh, we explain the how to get a contradiction. The first one, uh, from the topological part, we know, uh, uh, we know that the, each intersection of the DK uh, with the NK, uh, sorry, N, N1 has at least two power K minus one components intersecting N, uh, N0 for each K. Okay, maybe I can explain it. But when construction. Oh, yes. From this picture, uh, we can say the solid tower is NK and the red curve is uh, NK minus one. Okay, we can, the DK is a disk bound to this blue curve. So we, uh, we, we know the, this disk in, intersects uh, the red, uh, the red curve at the two points. Yeah. So roughly speaking, we know the DK intersect NK minus one uh, uh, has uh, two components. Each component is a Morian curve, sorry, Morian disk of NK minus one. So each component intersect NK minus two has two components. Each component is uh, the Morian disk of NK minus one. So that we know the, D, the DK intersect NK minus two has a two power two components. Each component is a Morian disk of NK minus two. So we can repeat the arguments. We know the, the, the statement. Okay, because L is limit of DK, the intersection of L and the N1 has infinity many components intersect N0. Okay, from the mixed yaws work, we can find a post positive constant uh, C1. This is a constant that depends on the metric. Okay, say so that the area of the each component is not less than C1. So, because we have the intersection have the infinity many components, that means uh, uh, the intersection uh, of the L and the N1 has the infinity area. Okay. Uh, from the geometric part, we know 
uh, the integral of the scalar curvature of the wet hat manifolds along the L is upbounded by two pi. So uh, we can find the constant C2. The, the scalar curvature is bounded below by C2. From this equality, we know the area of the intersection of L and the N1 is finite. So we get a contradiction. Okay, it's okay for anyone has some question about this proof. No? Okay. So next. Okay, in the following, I would like talking about the general theory for controllable three manifold and the related rigidity results. Okay. Uh, okay, first I would like give the uh, give the full and the positive answer to about function. Uh, we show that a complete controllable three manifolds with a long negative scalar curvature is homomorphic to R three. Okay. Okay, I would like to recall some classical results about uh, the topological re uh, topological structure of the controllable three manifolds. McMillan and the Perman show that a controllable three manifold can be written as the increasing union of a uh, Hanna bodies. For example, the R three is increasing union of a uh, uh, three balls. Three ball is uh, a genus zero Hanna body. Wet high manifolds is a increasing union of the solid torus. Solid torus is genus one kind of bodies. Okay. Uh, the topological structure, uh, sorry, the topological structure at the infinity of the of the controllable three manifolds is characterized by the symphony correctness at the infinity. Okay. Uh, a manifold is symphony collected for a compact set K. If there is a compact set P prime M contain K, so uh, the induced map from the fundamental group of uh, M denied M prime M M denied P prime map to fundamental group of M denied K is trivial. That means any closed curve outside the P prime is contractible in M delete K. So a manifold is a simply collected at infinity if uh, uh, M is a simply collected for any compact subset of M. Okay, for example, you know the, uh, the Rn is simply collected at infinity where N greater than two. R2 is not simply collected at infinity because uh, uh, we delete a disk on R2, the fundamental group is uh, it's non trivial. Oh, okay. The Sterling and the Perman's results uh, imply that a controllable three manifolds is homeomorphic to R3 if and only if uh, the manifold is simply collected at infinity. Okay. Uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, uh, when, we can, when we consider the uh, Topological structure of the uh, of the contractible three manifolds. So we should uh, we should study the topology at the infinity of the contractible three manifolds. So, but uh, here maybe we know the the uh, we know the topological structure is still complicated at infinity. So now we just consider the minimal surface behavior at infinity. Okay. Let the L be a complete, properly embedded minimal surface, uh, minimal plane. A plane means uh, this uh, surface is diffeomorphism to R2. Okay. The plane is trivial for a compact set if there's a compact set K prime contains K, such that the induced map of the fundamental group L delete K map to fundamental group M delete Okay, it's a trivial. That means uh, any closed curve on K, uh, sorry, on L outside the P prime is contractible in M delete K. Okay, the L is uh, trivial at infinity if uh, uh, L is trivial for any compact subset of M. Okay, let me make a remark. There is a 
long properly embedded minimal plan in a contractable three many blocks. Actually, in my proof, we will use uh, the L to uh, do a surgery. Actually, we, we will cut the three manifold along the L. So we need the uh, uh, L is uh, properly embedded. Okay, let me make some remark. That's uh, M be a complete contrable Riemannian manifold and L a properly embedded minimal plan. If L is not true for some complex set of K, then M is not simply collected for K and L will intersect K. If L is not true at infinity, then M is not simply collected at infinity. Okay, furthermore, we have, uh, we have that, uh, the let M is, uh, and L be as above, uh, assume that L cuts M into the two components, uh, M1 and M2, okay. Uh, if L is not true for some compact set K, then the closure M, MI is not, not similar connected for uh, K intersect the closure of MI for I equal to one or two. If L is not a true, is not true at infinity, then closure of MI is not a true, so not a similar connected at infinity for I equal to one and two or two. Okay, roughly speaking, if a contractable three many contractable complete uh, contractable three many three manifolds, it's a lot. It's not simply collected for a compact set K. Okay. There is a stable minimal plan L in in the interior of M, which is uh, not true for K. I will explain how to find the such a a uh, minimal plan later. Okay. Uh, the trivial at the infinity has a delicate, uh, has a many uh, connections with the minimal surface, the minimal plan. So this uh, collection uh, is a uh, uh, so this collection is uh, suggested by the uh, the following results. Okay. Let M be a complete <coughs> country. <coughs> Complete the contrable three manifolds with positive scalar curvature. Then each embedded stable minimal plan is trivial at infinity. Okay. Uh, actually, we can. Uh, mm, okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Okay. Now we can we can use uh, this result to get a to get a proof for the main result too. Uh, we are good by contradiction. Uh, suppose a complete uh, contrable three manifolds M with a positive scalar curvature is a lot homomorph to R3. M can be written as the increasing union of the hand body NK. Uh, the M is uh, because M is not homomorphic to R3, M is not similarly collected at infinity. That means uh, uh, the M is not similarly collected for some compact sets. We may assume M is not a uh, similarly connected for M0. Uh, okay. So we can find for each K. So we, we, we have that for each K, there is a closed curve, gamma K on the boundary of the NK, such that gamma K is not contractible in M delete uh, N0, and the gamma is non contractible is contractible in N. Okay, uh, the, the existence of the gamma k comes from the fact m is not simply connected for n0. Okay, allow we construct a uh, minimal surface if uh, the n and the metric g restrict to uh, nk has the mean convex boundary. Mean convex boundary means uh, the mean curvature of the boundary. It's non-negative. Okay, there we can find our uh, embedded stable minimal disk, BK, uh, sorry, BK in NK with the boundary gamma K. This result due to mix here. Okay, if not, we can find the new metric GK on NK such that the GK is equal to original metric on NK minus one. 
and the, the NK has the mean convex boundary for new metric. Okay, so we use the mixed work, mixed work again to find our uh, embedded disk DK in NK with the boundary gamma K. Okay, this DK is the stable minimum for the GK, not for, for original metric. Uh, so we consider the intersection of the DK and the NK minus one. This intersection is a stable for original metric for G and the DK intersect N zero. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the following, we only consider the case when DK converges to uh, a stable minimal plan L with a finite, finite, finite multiplicity. Uh, we, the, because the scalar curvature is positive, uh, we, we have that um, L is trivial for N zero. Yeah. Yeah, here. Uh, actually, we proved that uh, in a complete contrable three manifold with a positive scalar curvature, uh, each embedded stable uh, stable minimal plan is true at infinity. So the each plan is a stable minimal plan is also trivial for N0. Okay, because the Ichi gamma k is non contractible in M delete M N0. So L is not true for N0. We get a contradiction. <coughs> Generally, the limit of the DK is a lamination. Uh, in, that means uh, the limit is a disjoint union of, uh, of some the embedded surface. Each, uh, each leaf of the Limits is a complete stable minimal plan because the gamma k is a oh, sorry uh, the here is a typo the gamma k is non contractible in M limits n zero so we know the uh, one of the leaf of of the leaf of the limits is is non trivial for n zero so oh uh, okay uh, to get from the positive scalar curvature to long negative scalar curvature, uh, we use the following castle results. This result is due to the cutback. Cutback shows that a complete long rich flat metric with the long negative scalar curvature can be deformed to be a complete metric with positive scalar curvature. So we use uh, this result that can generalize the result for positive scalar curvature case uh, for positive scalar curvature metric to long negative scalar curvature case. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Maybe I can talk more about how you get maybe next. Next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, we can talk about uh, how to get the, this uh, this result. Okay, so uh, okay, but let me make some remark. Uh, if uh, M is a complete contrable three manifold and L is a com complete embedded stable minimal surface, this surface is connected has a, just has a one component. Okay, L is diffeomorphic. Of oh, sorry, it's homomorphic to us. R two. This is a uh, uh, Shong Yao's work. Yeah, and the the, uh, the oh, sorry the 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 integral of the uh, integral of the scalar curvature of the M along the L is unbound by uh, two pi. Okay, so we know L is properly embedded. This is important because. Uh, uh, in my proof, I, I, we will use the L cuts, cuts the, uh, the L, uh, cut M. So, okay. Okay, now so we do the back convergation. We suppose, uh, yeah, we suppose that there is a stable minimal plan in M, which is not trivial for some, uh, some, uh, some compact set, okay, yeah. 
So step one, we consider the set. Uh, uh, cons uh, this set elements is a uh, complete uh, stable minimal plan in M, which is uh, not trivial for K. We have that. So this set is uh, non, uh, non sorry, it's non true. So long empty. And each element in this set intersect K. Okay. So we define the uh, distance from the D, from one point P to the L. L is one element in, uh, in, in this set. So we know this distance D is finite because uh, the each, each L intersect K. K is a compact set. Okay. So step two, we can find a uh, uh, in, uh, or embedded, uh, step, embedded stable minimal plan L in the set with the distance uh, uh, this from a P to L equal to D. Okay, because we can consider the maximal the sequence. Okay, and uh, we consider the limits of this sequence. The, the limits is the required target, the uh, requ required uh, uh, plan. Okay. Step three, we can we use uh, the definition. We can show that uh, there is uh, no embedded stable minimal plan in M prime, which is uh, a long trivial for K, where M prime is the component M deletes L with uh, uh, P is uh, not in M prime. But place a picture. If L, L prime is a uh, uh, is a long trivial for K, we can get a contradiction. Because uh, from this picture, we know the distance from P to L prime is greater than uh, the distance from P to L. Yeah, but from the uh, but the L prime is uh, it, it's non-trivial for K. So L is belong to the the set C. Yeah, so we get we we get a contradiction uh, with the with the definition of D. Okay, but uh, the L is a, is a, is not trivial for K. That means the color of M prime is not simply collected for uh, K intersect uh, uh, intersect uh, uh, color of M prime. Roughly speaking, yeah, uh, there is a stable minimal plan in interior of the M prime, which is. Uh, uh, is is not true for K, so we get a connotation. We finish in the make the results. Okay. So this time this is this is the end of the time. Okay. Yeah, yes. So thank you. Uh,